Three steel rods support an 8.5 kip load P. Each of the rods A, B, and C, D has a 0.32 square inches cross-sectional area and rod E, F has a 1 inch squared cross-section area. If bar B, E, D cannot deform, what is the changing length of rod E, F and the stress in each rod? This is the second example for the main video on statically indeterminate problems. The link to that video and other example problems are in the description below. With a free body diagram of BED and its corresponding equilibrium equations and always assuming internal loads to be tensile, meaning that we assume that all three rods are under tension, we find one equation with two unknowns. Since BED is not deflecting or deforming in any form, we know that the deflection of AB or CD is equal to the deflection of EF. Writing these deflections in terms of PL over AE, we can substitute FEF in terms of FBA and substitute the given dimensions for L and A to solve for FBA. With this value we find FEF, which is negative reflecting compression, and we can now calculate the normal stresses and the deflection of rod EF. Notice that the stress within rods A, B, and C, D are the same, since both the normal forces and their cross-section areas are the same. Those normal stresses are positive, since A, B, and C, D are under tension, and stress E, F is negative, since rod E, F is subjected to compression. Delta E, F, which means the displacement of E with respect to F, is also negative, since E, F is being compressed and F is the floor. For other statically indeterminate examples, as well as the links to the other lectures of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.